Hey, so when technical difficulty arises and all else fails, switch pages and see what happens then. I'm Shalina Harris. I'm the wife and mom of the Harris Family Tribe, and we have an awesome event tonight. It's about forgiveness. Have you ever had to ask for forgiveness? I've had to ask for it. I've had to do it in my own mind. Hey, Jay Brett, I'm going to try to add you here. See what we get this time. It does not even show where I can add Mr. Jay Brett. So let me ask Mr. James um, are you on uh, Android or are you on like an iPhone or anything like that? Because it's not showing to where I can give you an invite. Right now, I'm forgiving Facebook for this. <laughs> but seriously, um, you know, I hope everybody had an amazing Easter day. I hope you enjoyed yourself and laughed and had fun. And, you know, um, today is a day to think about forgiveness. Today is a day to think about the times that um, you've had to ask for forgiveness. Okay, I am not, I'm on my uh, phone, my Android phone. So, um, Jay Brett. What are you on? I guess we may just have to go with it. And I don't know. Um, I don't know what to do. If you want to go from your page or something and try that again, that's fine. But until then, I'm going to keep talking until we figure something out. It won't, uh, Teresa, it won't let me add him. Like, it'll show an invite for you. It shows an invite for Carrie. But it doesn't show an invite for him. So... If anybody has suggestions, drop it in the comments because I'll definitely read them. Okay, forgiveness. Um, I think I've been harder on myself about forgiveness. Can you relate to that? Are you harder on other people or are you harder on yourself? I know that I'm super hard on myself. And when it comes to others, I want to be more... Um, I want to be more forgiving. I want to be that person that just says... You know, I just, I really, I forgive you. It's not that big of a deal and go on. And sometimes I think forgiving myself is so much harder. Um, yeah, Carrie, like I'm super harder on myself. All right. I'm hoping Jay Brett has went off and coming back on. I see you, Bobby. I do see you. But, um, you know, I was, as I was preparing for this, it's so funny because in my heart, I had it on my mind that I wanted to do a study on forgiveness. And then um, I got the book in the mail from uh, Joe Smith. He sent me a book to study about forgiveness. And then Jay Brett wanted to do this. And I was like, you know, this, this really needs to happen. So I was going through some times, you know, when have I had to show forgiveness? And did I show it how I want it shown to me? There were there has been times that I, in my adult life I've had to go back to my younger years and I'm just I'm like being super honest here. <laughs> I've had to go back to in my younger years and go to some people and say, Hey, what I done was wrong and I really want you to forgive me and will you please forgive me? And sometimes those people are like, Man, I don't even I didn't even remember or didn't think about it. But you know, um, they forgave me, and that's how I want to be with other people. I want other people to uh, show me. All right, says where you're proving, Jay Brett. I want me that same forgiveness, and so I, it's important that I show that to others. But as for myself, you know, I'm just now learning, and I honestly think it's the tribe that I'm in. All my, if you're in my tribe, put tribe in the comments. I see a bunch of you on here. I am so... Okay, Jay Brett, it just declined you. <laughs> I feel cheated. This is not good. Um, put in the comments if you want to go on your page and do it solo, or if you want... I'll, I'm sure we got somebody on here that wants to talk about forgiveness, so just put in the comments what you want me to do, and we'll do it. That's, that's just how it rolls. But, you know... Um, the tribe that I am in, and it really is like the lady tribe. That's what we are. Guys, there are so many women in there that are real, and they are encouraging, and they're, it's, you learn to love yourself. And the first step that I wanted to take in my journey of forgiveness 
was forgiving myself. Forgive myself for the things that has I've done. Like, I don't know, go back to bed and then I feel like I'm late all day or I'm grouchy. You know, what is it that you have to forgive yourself for? What is it that you're like, man, ugh. And then you have to forgive yourself. Put it in the comments. Also, let me know where you're tuning in from because you make a lot of connections just saying, hey, I know where that place is or I've been there before. So definitely. And, you know, if you know somebody that you want to forgive, invite them on this broadcast. If you know somebody that wants to, um, that, you know, just you think this would be beneficial, invite them. And if, um, Jay Brett, I'm going to wait and see what you tell me to do. And if any of the other, if anybody else, like, wants to jump on, I'm game. Whatever Jay Brett wants, that's what we're going to do, ladies, because this is how it goes. But, um, you know, I was reading in this book, and it was talking about um, how it would be unwise to deny forgiveness. Because God has so much in store for us that if we are focusing on not forgiving ourselves, not forgiving others, we're not focusing on the abundance that he wants us to have. And that's the abundance of love. That's the abundance of um, love, joy, peace, happiness. If you know that, love, joy, peace, and happiness, it was like a little Sunday school song. And um, when we had the clown ministry, we did that as well. All right, Jay Brett is live on his page. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, rule one, why was, oh yeah, why should you expect forgiveness if you're not willing to give it? Right, we should definitely expect forgiveness. But um, I'll do a little short thing and then we'll go try on Jay Brett's page. But, you know, it'd be unwise to deny yourself or deny somebody else. And... Um, you know, when it comes to forgiveness, sin matters, guys. It really does. And um, it matters because there's the effects of sin. There are the effects of every decision that I make as a mom, as a wife, as a person, as a friend. If I give somebody advice, I have to give them good, sound advice. And, I, you know, honestly, I go to the Bible and I'm like, okay, God. Shalina would probably say something not so nice, but what is the message that you would recommend? If you've ever been like this, you know, just let me know. Yeah, I'm, I've been there. I feel like that. But the forgiveness is an act of setting someone free. Setting someone free from what they've committed against you. But, you know, that needs to be setting yourself free from the acts against yourself of just beating yourself up all the time. And forgiveness brings freedom. Forgiveness brings um, the spirit of love and peace and joy, you know. Who doesn't want that? You can sit and focus on, I'm going to tell you, today was like supposed to be one of the saddest days ever. I mean, it just was, point blank. My daddy's not here, and it broke my heart, but I put on my yellow dress earlier. I got my yellow prayer scarf. I even had... Um, April Elizabeth sent me a feather and had a pink bow on it, and I wore it as a corsage, but I forgot it when I was uh, running back up to the house, or running up here to the barn. But, you know, um, I clothed myself in prayer. I clothed myself in the prayers that other people gave me, and I had an amazing day. We hunted eggs. The egg toss went all over my hair. I think it's supposed to be healthy, so I'm going with it because it's still, like, right there in it. Guys, it's life. This is it. This is life. Every day, this is what's happening. Every day. Every day you have to embrace that. Every day you have to say, you know what? I forgive myself. I forgive Johnny, whoever. I forgive so-and-so because it is going to make a difference in your day. You know, I had to just say, gosh, you know, um, today's going to be a great day. Today is going to be a great day. I got up, I did my devotion, and I was getting ready to go make coffee. 
in our kitchen floor was flooded and I, was, I already knew I was covered in prayer and I was like, today's a great day. I forgive that refrigerator hose for leaking and causing a puddle on my hardwood floors. You have to, and some of the tips to just say, okay, today is a great day. Tell yourself, say it out loud. Say it out loud. Today is a great day. Today I am going to be successful at smiling. <laughs> I'll even tell my kids, smile as you pack that bucket of water up that hill and be thankful for them horses. And they smile and they pack that water up the hill because they are thankful. Put that smile on your face. You know, um, I honestly, I can't look at somebody else's sin. I can't judge other people. I can't, I can't tell you what you're doing is wrong. I can't tell you what you're doing is right. All I can do is encourage you because you know what? I've got too much going on with me. i got too much, and I'm sorry that I'm a me person, but in this case, I think it's great. i got too much that I've done wrong. Buddy, you probably couldn't fit my skeletons in that whole daggone stall right there. Being ugly to people, just not saying nice things, not having nice thoughts. Uh, gosh, I don't know. The list goes on and on. And I have to forgive myself. And once I forgive myself, guess what happens? I can love myself. I can love who I am. I can love who God created me to be. I can show myself forgiveness. I can show myself mercy. I want to show myself as much mercy as I show the next person down the road. That forgiveness, wear it. Wear it like it is your crown. Wear it like you are clothed in it. Because then comes self-love. Then comes that accepting who you are, accepting the greatness in you. Because you know what? God don't make junk. He don't. He he loves me. He loves the sinner in the ditch. He loves the king on the mountain. All the same. So, you know, I just, I'm going to try to keep this short so I can jump over on Jay Brett's page, hopefully. But I just want to encourage you. Forgive yourself and truly, truly forgive yourself. Then I want to encourage you to start loving yourself. Nothing is wrong with self-love. Then, you know what, when you forgive yourself of everything, you can look at that next person and say, Honey, I had to forgive myself for a whole lot more than what I'm getting ready to forgive you for. So, yeah, I forgive you and go on. And then something crazy happens. If you want to hear about something crazy happening, forgive somebody. Forgive that person, whether they even know that they made you mad. I'm going to tell you what, sometimes people might be mad and they probably don't even know it. And I just sit there, mm -hmm. if you've ever been mad and probably nobody else knows it, put a mad in the comments. But honestly, forgive yourself. Love yourself. Forgive the next person because you're going to start to love people. You're going to start to love people just because you want to love people. You're going to start to love people just because they need love. But um, I'll keep it short. And, you know, if you, you need to ask God to forgive you. And, you know, just I probably have to do it every single day. Hey, Robert. I have to do it every single day. I'm just like, God, oh, forgive me for whatever. Like, my list is too long. And I think that's one reason why... You know, I, I think I forgive pretty easy because half the time I'm just like, oh, okay, I can't even remember what you've done because there is so much good to focus on. There's so much enjoyment in life that if you spend all your time focusing on the bad, if you spend all your time focusing on the negative, if you spend all, that's what you're going to get. That is where you will be. You have got to say, I believe I believe I'm a good person. I believe God loves me. I believe that he believes in me. And, you know, there's gifts that God gives you, like being able to be kind to somebody, singing, writing a song, sewing. Sue Brown sews. What, what is your gift? What do you love to do? You know, just cooking. Gosh knows that's not my gift. <laughs> Thank goodness Anna has it, but that's not my gift. But, you know, the thief will come. 
to steal, kill, and destroy. But God comes that we will have life in him. He comes to give us life. He comes to give us the life to where we can enjoy things. You know, I can sit in this house and I can be mad as a hornet about stuff that has went on for 40-some years of my life. I could, you know, you can think stuff up. You can, If you've ever done that, you can think stuff up to be mad about. If I sit in that house and I stay mad about so many things that went wrong or this or that, I'm going to miss the sunset. I'm going to miss the sunrise. I'm going to miss Charlotte. I'm going to miss these horses. I'm going to miss my kids in the driveway rope, and I'm going to miss egg hunts. I'm going to miss egg tosses. I'm going to miss life. And you know what? This is it. Today, how did you spend today? Did you spend today being angry? Or did you say, you know what? Today, I'm going to rock my purpose, as Michelle Renee would say, and I'm going to spend my day enjoying and embracing every moment. I'm going to spend my day making the best of every situation. If, like I said this morning, if you don't have Easter eggs to color, get you some rocks. You know, just little things. And if your kids love the Easter egg, put an uh, egg hunt in the comments. Don't let that stop. Next week, get those plastic eggs back out. Next week, get you some... You know what I'm going to do? Since none of my kids are on Facebook, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. I think it's going to rain tomorrow, but, okay, my cousin Nicole sent me this bag of um, feathers, and I'm actually using them as bookmarks, like if I give a book away, I'm putting it in there as a bookmark, so, so totally cool, but one morning before they, uh, like, get up when it's not, like, soaking wet or anything, I'm going to take and I'm going to hide those color feathers everywhere. I don't know why, probably just because I like the thrill of finding the feathers, it's simple things, simple things. Put in the comments, tell me what simple thing you do that, is it like, y'all, let me tell you, I love coffee. It's simple, and I'm showing myself some love. I'm, I'm a type of person that I'm speedy, speedy, speedy. Like, I think you should do 10 things at one time, do them to the best of your ability with all your heart and a smile. But, like, I think it should be quick. No moss should grow under your hind end, but, um, you know, just, I think you should just be productive. So, like, two weeks now, all because of uh, Lindsay Justin, <laughs> I'm taking my coffee, I'm putting some butter in it, some cream, some raw sugar, and I'm shaking it, going way out of my way, shaking it and making it, like, frothy. But I enjoy it. It's like blended. It just, and you know, that takes 30 seconds, a minute, who knows. But I am, I do that, and that's just a little something that I'm like, this is me. And it's, it's simple. So tell me, what is your simple thing that you do? I know, Robert. Well, see, I was supposed to go live with Jay Brett. And that didn't work out on his page. It didn't work out on my page. And then Amanda asked me to come over there. So what I'm going to do is um, I just want to encourage you all to, yes, Carrie. <laughs> yes, Carrie knows exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly. Carrie, you want to jump on here with me for a minute, like a quick second? I don't ever want to just push the button and it not be a great time. But, um... Yeah, the coffee is amazing, amazing. So women, take that minute or two, or men, whoever, coffee lovers, coffee drinkers, get your coffee and um, put you a little tad of butter or coconut oil because it is, all right, I'm going to send you an invite because it is super good for your brain. I didn't know that your brain needed um, health food. Like, I didn't know they, it needed fats. I'm going to slide over because it's actually saying it's adding you. Hi. Hey, <laughs> happy Easter. And happy Easter to you. <laughs> How are you? Do you all have a great day? We did. It was kind of a lazy day. We had, we had brunch <laughs> this morning. <laughs> Hi, I honey. thought it was your kids. I was going to wave and it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> That is Carrie Gold. And then Hi. Your... 
Yes, she has. Remember the little girl that was doing dishes? Steli, come here for a second. I'll see if she'll here come she in. Here she comes. Come here for a minute. Here she comes. She's watching. Did you she's, watch she's watching a cartoon, so. Oh, is she? <laughs> did, uh, did you all do an egg hunt or anything today? We didn't because it's so cold outside. <laughs> is this? Oh, my goodness. Say oh, hello. My. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you. Look at the other little girl. She's saying hi to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were Jay Brett and I. Oh, you want more that? Jay Brett and I were supposed to talk about forgiveness, and it just didn't work out on either page. So, what? Or what's? Tell me some of your forgiveness tips or tricks. <laughs> mm. Um, I have to be very conscious about forgiving myself. I'm I'm very hard on myself. On the choice, I am too. Look, no, ma'am. There you go. I, I'm a, a huge perfectionist, and as a mom, I get upset when things aren't perfect the way that I had envisioned that it was going to go, and it doesn't go that way, and I get really, like, upset with myself, so I have to be very conscious about that. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do, too. I have to, um, and I want my kids... To forgive themselves for things so I'm trying to learn that they are watching everything I do you know every comment that I make or if they know that you know in your own home you know who's doing what and if you're offended or somebody outside the family offends you you know my watch they know things so the best thing for us to do is just show them um, you know lead by example that the um, it's important to forgive other people. Yeah, I totally agree. And in ourselves, and like you said, you know, both of us are harder on ourselves than we are other people. You can stand right there to the side. <laughs> but I think one of the biggest things that I've had to forgive myself for is um, <laughs> behavior when I was younger. <laughs> And uh, just, um, you know, like spur of the moment, like getting aggravated or upset and it not really being that big of a deal. And nine times out of ten. Exactly, if, exactly. If we let it go, it's not that big of a deal. But so well, I'm going to go see if we can get yeah. on Jay Brett's page and show him some love and support. But you all have feathers. We have feathers. Yes, we do. <laughs> we I know. That's feathers. wonderful. <laughs> All kinds of feathers. Red, blue, white, and, and little feathers. Red, white. Yes, very good. <laughs> but you all have an awesome night, and we'll go to Jay Brett's page and show him some love. <laughs> okay, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B